Good morning. Um, it is now, what, 9.23? Um, I'm up. I'm about to work out. I know it's been a minute since I've even posted anything, but a lot has happened. Especially within the last two days. Of course, I'll get into that a little later on, but I'm about to do this workout and torture my body for like the next hour and 15 minutes. But I'm ready for it though, so let's get to it. So before I get started, I wanted to show you all the setup that we have. Um, this, my roommate isn't ready yet. So, so this is our setup. Um, the workout that we do, um, requires an agility ladder. Um, uh, originally this was one long ladder and I ended up cutting it because I didn't need all those boxes. Um, I was originally doing a quarter force and there was certain exercises that required an agility ladder, but I think the boxes are even, I think the boxes are even, but they're going to be even today. So <laughs> this one right here is more than likely going to be my ladder. And since my roommate is tall, this is probably going to be his ladder. But we'll see. Well, the second was worth 15 minutes, but it was still intense. And that's where she partnered with Darren Lee, the best ingredient hunter in the world. When we created Shakeology, we knew this had to be a whole new type of shake. So we traveled around the world gathering some of the most potent and natural whole food ingredients. I'm going to shower now. And they came from high quality sources. Can I check it so I'm back. Um, I probably, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to eat. I'm not sure if I want a smoothie or if I want like food. Like a big decadent breakfast. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but it's going to happen, but I definitely need to fill you in about the past couple of days because it's, it's been ridiculous. <sighs> Very ridiculous. Okay, so downstairs. I still don't know what I want to eat. I'm eating this orange right now. But um, one of my roommates is already like, ew, gross. One of my roommates is, well, friend slash roommates is like cooking already hey me um but i think i'm gonna do the pancake batter um that was oh it was i was that was quick i'm vlogging my bad okay. you're fine oh if you don't want to be on it then stay out the camera <laughs> You don't want to be on it. Stay out the camera. <laughs> I don't. I would definitely stay out the camera. Oh, okay. Well, there you have it. Um. Oh, because I was going to do this. Oh. So, this is, is this just add water? Yep. Oh, yeah. Let me check. Oh. 
trying to fall. I couldn't see them. <laughs> I couldn't see them. I'm like, wait, where are they? We're about to see how this. Wait, have I had this? Yep. This plant based? Um, yep. I, I don't remember, but. Remember I made for you? No, I'm making my breakfast. Vegan breakfast is. Oh, okay. Okay, well. Okay, okay, okay. I feel handicapped right now. I'll see if I can later. I'm back. I forgot to show you what I had or ended up eating. Um, I had a pretty decent sized breakfast. Um, I had a couple pancakes. Um, had a sausage, a piece of sausage, um, eggs, and some grits. Some cheese grits. It was pretty good. <clears throat> Quite filling. Okay. So let's get into this. The last couple of days have really been a trip. Okay, so the last couple of days have been a real trip. So, I get to work. This is Sunday. I get to work and thinking it's just going to be, you know, regular day. I'm going to, you know, I work at, um, I work at a, a, this hotel, but I really work in the restaurant that's attached to it, uh, downtown Atlanta. Um, <laughs> I get to work and the security guard takes your temperature, you know, by his COVID, for COVID reasons or whatever. He, he takes your temperature, I guess, to make sure you don't have a fever or whatever. So I guess this is one of the indications of COVID. But he takes your temperature just, to, you know, make sure you don't have fever. And... I guess I was unusually warm. I don't know. I don't know if it was just my body temperature that day or something was wrong with the, the thermometer they was using. I don't know. But I do know that I was perfectly fine. I didn't feel achy. I didn't feel, because when I'm sick, or if I have a fever, I can't function. Like, I can't. I'm, I'm in the bed. I'm bedridden. Like, no, there's, there's no getting me to do anything. But I felt pretty good. I was refreshed, actually, because I went to bed early the night before. I went to bed early. And so I guess it, it read high. So he has me lay it off to the side for a bit, you know, just to kind of make sure that everything was, you know, maybe I was just a little warm. And my body pulled down. Nope, it read high. He read it like at least three times. And it was still high. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't understand this. I feel perfectly fine. Like, I feel fine. So, <clears throat> basically, I got sent home. Um, at that point, it was pretty much up to my manager to open up the restaurant. So, they basically won't let me back until I have a negative COVID test, even though I don't have it. So it's like, I guess I'm more, well, at the time, I was more frustrated at the fact that I have to take this unnecessary test. I don't, I shouldn't have to take this test. This is just dumb, but it's protocol. So anyways, I came back home. I scheduled a COVID test or whatever. So yesterday rolls around, Monday. I had my brother take me to go get my test. <sighs> I 
this is evil. I had to do the swab. That test is evil. <laughs> and the bad part about it is I had to do it myself. No one administered it to me. I had to do it myself. So, and the people who have to do this constantly or on a more consistent basis, I applaud you because there's no way in the world I would do this. It was just a very... <laughs> I came this close to quitting my job because of that test. I'm like, I came this close. I like, I have to go through this because your guys made a mistake, and now it's written down that I'm a COVID threat. I have to go through this unnecessary step because your guys messed up. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Never again. I'm sorry. I, I just, I, I can't. I'm not going through that again. I'm not, I'm not sticking anything up my nose ever again. I don't, I just, I can't. It's just, oh, oh my gosh. It was the most uncomfortable feeling ever. The most uncomfortable feeling. And then I had to take it back further. And then mind you, my brother is such a jackass sometimes. He's sitting there laughing the entire time as I'm doing it. It's making it even more harder for me to focus and concentrate to do this. So we're going to see what the results are. Hopefully I got as far as I needed to go. We'll see what happens. But it was very, I just, I, I, I mean, even after I did, literally after I did each nostril, my eyes were water and I sneezed. I'm like, I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I can't do this. I can't do this. <sighs> those who, again, those who have to take that test on a more consistent basis, again, I applaud you. There's no way in the world I could do that frequently on top of that if i have to take that test again i'm quitting i'm sorry i, I, I can't do it i can't i'm i that is where i draw the line i can't no no i just no no thank you it's like i know i don't have it but it's like I still have to take it and it's like they're like there's no getting out of it I have to take it and that's kind of what made it like okay just suck it up and do it just suck it up and do it and then when you get your results your results are just going to be your results so again I hope they come out you know the way that this that you know that the that I can't talk right now <laughs> I hope they come out the way that they're supposed to because I, at this point I don't know But anyways, um, those have been the last two days for me. Um, I've pr pretty much given you the abridged version, the much shorter version. I didn't go into too much detail. Try to keep it short and sweet. Um, I still have to fold my clothes. Um, yeah. I still have to fold my clothes. And they've been sitting down there since Thursday. <laughs> I had to change that. Oh, um, as far as update in regards to my room, I finally got... I finally got one of the pieces. Well, two of them, actually. Um, I have been waiting for these for, for a well for a while well one of them really because one is way more expensive than the other one and when I show you what it is if you've ever purchased from them you'll understand hmm 
Hmm. Not sure. Huh, yeah. Other than that, other than folding my clothes, that's pretty much all I have to do today. Um, nothing too crazy. Um, I just, you know, worked out earlier. And I'm starting to feel it a little bit. I'm a little tired. But, you know, just ate. So that could be what it is as well. <clears throat> also, I dropped a few pounds. I don't know what it is about my weight. It goes up. And then it goes down. And then it goes up. And then it goes down. And I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I'm doing Herbalife. And it's, it's a little frustrating because, again, I get to a certain point and it's like, but I get to that point and I start messing up. I start eating crazy and it's like, I, I don't understand what that, what that's about. So I finally got down. I will. I sat down and I had like a long conversation with myself. I'm like, okay, I get serious. You know, you're, you're doing this program. You gotta, you gotta do something. So... Basically, it was more like, get your shit together. That's basically what it was. Just get it together. So, I've really been watching what I ate. I've been more consistent watching what I eat. I've been more consistent with, you know, everything that I need to do. You know, especially with working out. Um, my friend actually was the one that got me... Well, I signed up under him. So, you know, help my friend out, put money in his pocket or whatever. I'd rather be him than somebody else. But, I just, I really had to sit down and, and kind of slap myself a couple times. Not literally, but I had to slap myself a couple times. Like, okay, what are you doing? Like, really, get it together like <laughs> I really had to give myself a stern talking to but I mean I'm, I'm I'm getting it together I'm getting it together I've made some decisions <sighs> we, 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 don't, we don't get this body together but um yeah I mean I guess as if right now I fold these clothes up maybe straighten my room up a little bit pretty much it um yeah i'll do that and i guess i'll check back in later okay so whew. so guess what i didn't fold my clothes like i thought i was going to i ended up taking like a quick nap and now i'm like wanting a smoothie but it's weird because I kind of want iced coffee as well. So, I don't know. Um, I may end up just going with the smoothie. <clears throat> so, <sighs> yeah, I'll probably just end up making a smoothie today. Um, I don't care how that stuff is. Um, I don't know what that is. Oh, you know what? All of my roommates were down here. Well, two of the main ones that I really talked on a regular were down here. Um, and everybody was kind of eating breakfast together. Which doesn't really happen too often. Everyone has to, like a busy schedule. But um, I wouldn't necessarily say that we're like one big happy family, you know. I would say we're probably one big, happy, dysfunctional family, if anything. But that's another story for another day. But I'm going to end up making a smoothie. Um, yeah. I'm going to make me a smoothie um, for my Herbalife products. Um, I'm thinking I might skip out only because 
I don't have any protein or I may end up using the rest of the protein that I have now since I ordered more um I don't know since I ordered more I should probably wait nah, I'll go ahead and use the rest of it I'll go ahead and use the rest of it I probably won't have one tonight like I'm supposed to because I'm going to be completely tapped out of the protein. But, that's okay. It just means we're going to have a, a, a lighter meal later on at night. <clears throat> I may have on my, um, my veggie bowls. Or, um, I call them veggie bowls, but they're actually called harvest bowls from... Uh... No, that's not it. Oh. Ooh, one uh, from Daily Harvest. This, this one is probably the one of the main ones that I get because all the stuff that's in here I actually eat. So, <laughs> and I'm one of the ones I'm very picky about vegetables and like getting me to eat vegetables is like pulling deep. I know you're supposed to eat them, but that's like the only way I'm gonna eat them if they have like some kind of flavor to them. Uh, so I'm gonna have a smoothie. Oh god, I want to iced coffee. I'm gonna have a smoothie. I'm gonna be good and have uh, gonna be good and have a smoothie. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start that now. like the only milk I really use um I don't really do like cashews um but this milk is probably the closest to regular milk in my opinion it's a lot more creamy and it's this one and it's another one that's like um actually has a combination of both cashew milk and almond milk which I mean, it's still creamy. It works when I don't, when I can't get in touch with this. Well, not in touch with, but when I can't get my hands on this, I get that. Which is, I think that one actually has like more protein in it too. So, oh, I forgot to get some spinach. Oops. Okay, so now that I've got my spinach out, I've got my fruit, my uh, milk. And now I put in my protein, this stuff, and this healthy meal stuff. I guess it's supposed to, it's like a, an actual meal supplement, um, but this one's good. This, tra this strawberry cheesecake is so good. <laughs> That's the only one I get. <laughs> I have like so many other flavors, but the strawberry cheesecake is the only one I get. I've got the powder, these uh, supplements in there. Um, I usually will put like a fat burner in there. It's the, like the Prolessa Duo. I would typically put that in there, but I'm out and I can't quite get it right now. It's expensive, but you do have an option of getting, getting a seven day one, but I'm not gonna lie, money is a little tight right now. But, um, I mean, we were doing fine without it before. So, I mean, it's just to kind of give you a, an extra boost when you make your smoothies. It kind of helps, um, you know, with the overall weight loss process. Now we mix. So, right now, the blender I'm currently using is the Ninja. I've had this for maybe like a few years 
and it still works like it's brand new um what i really want is the professional one um that one's a lot bigger and i think that one's more expensive as well but i'm gonna get it at some point but right now this is what i have i the first one i got though was like gray and it didn't go as fast um i actually gave that one to my mom so she started making smoothies too it kind of got her into it before i moved out here um that was one of the things because i couldn't take it with me it was, I, I mean I, when i first moved out here i didn't have a lot of space to take stuff so i left my gray blender which again was from ninja and gave that to my mom so she has that right now uh, well actually i think she let my brother have that now or maybe they both use it i don't know but this is this is what i'm using now all the sides and stuff to get all the extra smoothie that's gotten stuck so so this is what the smoothie is looking like right now I did what I could to scrape as much of these sides but I know it's gonna be good <laughs> okay so this smoothie is okay I forgot there are grapes in it so sometimes the flesh or the skin on the grapes, they don't blend all the way. Not like they're supposed to. And it can make things really interesting as you're drinking it. There were quite a few times that I thought there was something in my smoothie that wasn't supposed to be in my smoothie. It's like, wait, no, the, the, the skin from the grapes. Oh, excuse me. It's like this came from the grapes. <sighs> no, it's soft on that grapes. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. But, I mean, other than that, it's actually pretty good. Um, I'm actually now going to try and fold my clothes. <sighs> yeah. Let's see how, how, how that goes. <laughs> um, I have fold my clothes and I'm actually going to straighten my room. I need to be more productive. I should my day should have been more productive. But that workout that I did earlier today really took me out. Like that that took a lot of energy out of me. But so I'm actually gonna make an attempt to fold my clothes and I'll get back. I'll check back in. I don't know. I think I'm gonna watch a movie or something. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna watch a movie or something while I'm um, watching it. Or, I think I'm gonna <laughs> watch a movie while I'm folding my clothes. I'm not quite sure. Um, I've been kind of on kind of an anime binge. Ooh. Well, no Netflix today. And now we have other ways to watch stuff. Hmm. Maybe I'll finish binge watching Boy Meets World. I actually binge watched Girl Meets World. Um, I'm not sure if any of you really know much about that show. <sighs> but basically, Girl Meets World is, is a spinoff of Boy Meets World. Um, it's Disney, so it's not as... It's, it, it's not... It doesn't have the training wheels. Or... I said that wrong. Boy Meets World it doesn't have the training wheels like Girl, Meet, Girl Meets World does. It's a little 
bit more kid friendly. Girl Meets World is. It's, it's more kid friendly. I mean, it's Disney. What do you expect? But, I mean, I still thought it was a good show. Um, but, yeah. Um, I think I might watch Boy Meets World. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I've already binged watch Smart Guy. I've already seen one of these. And I'm on, I'm, I'm on Disney Plus. And I'm not quite sure what I want to watch. I might not watch anything on here. I don't know. We'll just see. Okay, so I'm back. I got my roommate to cook for me again. <laughs> no. Um he actually likes cooking. So and I like to eat, so see how that works? See you, you see how that relationship works. <laughs> um I'm really just checking back in. I might just go ahead and close this vlog out. Um, today has just been a really chill day. I still don't know when I'm going to get my results for this COVID test that I need to take. <sighs> that I took. I don't know. I may, eat some, I may hear something back tomorrow. I may hear something back a, a couple days from I don't know. But... Um, I do know this much. I'm going to take this time and I'm going to use it wisely. Certain things that I need to work on and whatever else. That's what I'm going to do. Um, but I guess I might insert a clip of what the food actually looks like once it's done. But, um, as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and close this vlog out. Um, thank you for joining me. Um... I guess I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, so as promised, this is the final creation. This looks so good and so unhealthy. And I don't care. I'm going to eat it.